What's up everybody? Today's the first day of work of the new year and I forgot to pick up my suits. I need to get those on. Alright, what's up everybody? So today, we're going to the dry cleaners first and then we need to go to a convenience store, so like a 7-Eleven or something like that to pay my, what is it? Water bill, heating bill? Electric bill? I don't know, it's one of those. Water, heating, electric, a lot of the different bills you can pay through or at a convenience store. And so that's what we're gonna do today. So a lot of places will give you, what the hell is that beeping? Okay, so a lot of places will give you like a points card like this. Um, this, you, you, at least with my dry cleaning place, you, you need this points card. This serves as like a, an ID card for when you pick up your items and they won't let you pick up your items without that ID. If you don't have it, you have to bring in like a passport or your my number card or something, so it's really annoying. Easy. All right, next stop, convenience store. I don't really live close to a convenience store though. So even this dry cleaner, it's like a 15, 20 minute walk for me. And so it's kind of annoying. And I need to get to work soon. As far as I remember, there are like three big convenience stores in Japan. One, 7-Eleven. Two, Lawson. And three, Family Mart. They're all pretty much the same. Lawson has like a 100 yen version. It's like a dollar store version where most of the things they sell are 100 yen. So it's actually really, really cheap. It's really nice to go to. But today we're going to a Lawson. Okay. So, paying at a convenience store, super, super simple. All you gotta do is give them the paper, they'll tear it off for you. I suck at tearing those things, I always rip them in half, so I just let them do it. Give it to them, they'll tear it off for you, they'll scan it, and then on the screen, it'll have a little dialogue button that says like, oh, is this the correct amount? You hit kakunin or confirm, and you're all good to go. Well, you gotta give them the money to it, but... And then you're done so. For dry cleaning, it's pretty simple. When you go, you just gotta lay everything out on the table, and then make sure you take everything out of your pockets. Same thing like in the States. And generally, if you have a point card, give them your point card and they'll tell you how much it costs. Generally, it costs like 500 yen, which is like five bucks-ish per suit jacket and pants. So it's not too bad. It's like, if you do, if I wear, I don't, I don't even know, dry clean like every week, maybe. And so maybe 2,000 yen a week on dry cleaning. It's not awful. One thing that's slightly inconvenient with the dry cleaning here, if you don't have a car, it's kind of annoying depending on how far away the dry cleaning is. For me, I don't have a car and the dry cleaning place is about like a 15, 20 minute walk away. And so I always need to carry all of my dry cleaning stuff to the store, to the shop, whatever. Uh, and then go back home to dump off whatever bag or whatever I was using. And then if I want to go somewhere, I can leave my house from there again. 
but it's like all in all it's like an hour long ordeal and so for me it's kind of annoying all right so let's see I've got my suit I've got I've paid my electric bill heating bill whatever I paid that one bill that I had um, what else is left I still need to make lunch I haven't eaten breakfast yet and I think I'm gonna buy a vegetable now for lunch I don't know what should, what I should get though done grocery shopping and all I got was red pepper super simple just cut it up and put it on the pan done so I have about an hour until I have to leave for work and I still have to make lunch or finish making lunch eat breakfast and get suited up I love this view okay so I have approximately 55 minutes to get all of this nonsense and get ready for work and go to work. Okay. There it is. Yeah, that's yesterday's video. So. I don't have a lid for my frying pan, and so. The light I can't read the box. Get a chance. Try these. They're called umeboshi. They're pickled plums. Alright, that's it for today, folks. If you liked what you saw, please hit that like button. If you didn't like it, I'm sorry. But if there's anything you'd like to see specifically, or if there's any questions that you have, please leave them in the comments below. And also, I'm gonna keep making more of these. I'm gonna try and get my energy up higher in the morning. I'm not a very good morning person, but.